Welcome to this Google Apps screencast. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at Google Docs and how to turn a file into a template for others to use. So here I am as a teacher. I've created a template for a script for a podcast I'm going to have my students create. And I want to put this into the template gallery so they don't have to recreate this from scratch. They can follow my format and turn that file into me when they are done. So I like to name my templates with my teacher name in them. So I'm going to rename this file to kafka dash about me podcast script and if you do use a dash make sure you leave a space on either side because then if the students search for your name this will come up if there's a space on that side of the file name I hit OK I go back to my Google Docs home area and to get to the template area I go to create from template this takes me into the template gallery and you can see here there are different areas for templates you can search. Uh, there's public templates. Those are any templates that have ever been submitted to anything Google. Uh, so if you click on public templates, you could actually search for other templates out there that people have made. Here's a resume template, family budget planner. If you're using Google Apps for Education, your school or your domain has its own special section. So any templates added in Franklin will show up in this area. So this is where my students will go to get the template after I've added it. I'm going to go to submit a template over on the right side here and I'm just going to work down choose from your Google Docs and I'll choose this most recent podcast script I'll hit select I'm going to I would enter a short description I would choose a category there's it's kind of funny when you do this for education there are no education choices uh, so for the category I usually just choose something close if it's a spreadsheet I'll choose finance and accounting if it's a, a document I'll choose business forms and English uh, would be the language that I would choose. So then I would click Submit Template. Now I just did this a few seconds ago, so what you'll actually see if I go back a screen is my template. You'll get a message that says after you submit, your template has been saved and should be visible in the template gallery momentarily. So when this does show up, it'll show up under Franklin Public Schools. Templates are searchable by name, so I would direct my students to create from the template gallery. They would come here, they would find my template or search for my template and then if they click use this template it'll open the file as it's their own. If you made a mistake on your template that you find later you can go back and still edit your template file at any point and it'll automatically fix that version that's out there for the students. Uh, so don't worry if you made any mistakes you don't have to redo this whole process. That is how you add or create a template. You first create the document and how you add it to the template gallery. Thanks for watching.